Okay, so as a special added bonus, I want to take this just a little bit further. So we talked about the import export wizard. We talked about the bulk insert statement that you can do through SQL. And we talked about BCP. But now what if you have a file that's um, showing up every day at like six in the morning or something? Um, it shows up to a FTP or to a, 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 you know, a, a server somewhere and you need to import it on some kind of schedule. Well, that's called automation, right? And so being able to schedule things is very important for automating uh, different imports and exports and things like that. Um, but the first step to doing that is we've got to put it in a format that we can automate. And so what I want to do first is I want to show you how to take and put this into what's called a bat file. And so on the last, on the last video, we ended up where we could import the CSV file with this BCP command. Well, I'm gonna grab that command. I'm gonna mark it like so. I'm gonna right click up here and I am going to say copy, right? And now what I wanna do is I wanna make a new text file. So I'm over in the demo folder, say new text document, and I wanna call this automation.bat for, for bat, for batch. At. And so I do that. It asks me if I really want to change the file extension. I do. And now this won't do anything yet, but I can open it and edit it with Notepad. And I can paste in what I just copied. And I need to get rid of a carriage return. And so I need to get rid of this up front here and just take the BCP statement. So this is the same statement we just ran over in the command line on the previous video. And we stuck that whole statement inside of a bat file. I will save that. I'm going to close. And before I run it, I want to see if I have any data in this table. I do. So what I want to first do is delete the data from it. Data's all gone. Okay, so let me go back and watch this. I just double click the bat file. It ran just that fast. So fast that we probably couldn't even barely see it. But look here. I've got data. 560 rows of data. So now I don't have to type that command every time I want to import. I can simply double click a file and the data will come in. Well, let's take it one step further. Okay, so what if I don't even want to click the file? What if I just want every morning at 6 I want this thing to run? Well, there's a lot of ways to do that. Um, you could schedule it inside, you can schedule imports and exports and all kinds of things inside of SQL Server. Um, but if you have an express edition, it's missing some functionality. So the next thing you want to could do is, you know, there's other ways of scheduling stuff. Um, there's, there's expensive scheduling programs out there and things, but built into windows is scheduled tasks. And so if I just type scheduled task or I'm sorry, task scheduler, it shows up right there and I can click on it. And so the task scheduler allows you to create tasks that can run on some kind of schedule. So I'm gonna create a basic task and I will call it import products two. So I hit next say daily, next. You can schedule it, so if I want it to happen at 6 a.m., you just come in, come in here and modify everything you want to modify, so 6 a.m. every day, next. I want to start a program, next. And I want to have a script, and so I browse to it. There's my automation.bat, hit open. And so it's gonna run that every time My computer will catch up, there we go. So it's gonna run that bat file every time that the schedule kicks off. So we hit next, and so it says daily, this is a little summary. Start the program, finish. So if I go to the task scheduler here, I can find that import products two right there. Every day at six. And so if I click on that, it'll pull up all the different um, all the different settings 
You can actually have it log in for you and all kinds of stuff. But what we want to do, we don't want to want to want to wait till 6 a.m. So I'm just gonna right click and run it. Run it again. Run it again. Run it again. And so let's see what happened. We got 2,800 records. So every time I ran that from that task scheduler, it ran our little BCP program and we got records. So um, that's basically um, how you can go in and schedule your own little BCP um, import to happen every day. Uh, it's pretty neat and you can probably think of a bunch of different ways to use that and I, I have used it in, in many different ways too. So anyway, so that's, that's the little automation um, part of, of this little training course.